So okay, so okay. Oh, darling. Oh. But you know what? Mm. The food smells great. Mm. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'd rather have you than this. Well, I guess we'll have to save that for dessert. Okay. Mm. Hold on, Tyler. Let me quickly change. Okay. Oh, oh no, but you don't need to. You just find the way you are. Come on, baby. I don't look as good as a woman who is celebrating her anniversary with a man. I'm right now, baby. Okay. Did Oga go out? When, ma? Just now. No, no. When was the last time you saw him? Um, that was around 5.30 when he came up from work, ma. Well, I'm sure he must have gone out when you were not here. No, uh, no, ma. <laughs> I have been here. I didn't go anywhere. I mean, I, I cannot leave my duty post now. <laughs> you know that one, madam. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, ma. I am sure. You're sure you did not see him go out? I am very sure, ma. I am very sure. Is there any problem, ma? <laughs> ma, would you just stop embarrassing me with this story, okay? Well, someday, soon I hope, you have young children. And I'm sure you will never stop embarrassing them. Well, till then. Mm. 
Excuse me. Okay. <sighs> yeah, hello, Rita. No, I can't. I'm meeting with Larry's mother, remember? Okay, I will come when I'm done with her. What do you mean you can't find? Hello? Rita? Rita? Are you done with your call? Yeah. Um. Sorry, I have to go. What's up? Why? Uh, something just came up. And can't wait? I'm sorry. I wish I don't have to leave. But it's an emergency. It's okay. Um, can we see outside? Record. So? She wants me to come over. So is that why you had to? Oh, Larry, please let me finish. She can't find Judy and the baby. I don't understand. Me neither. That's not good. You have to go and meet her right now. Okay, here. My car keys. Here's the car. Drive safely. And just call me if anything at all. Okay. Okay. Take care. Alright, guys, to her. Alright. Oh, Paris. Judy is gone. Judy and the baby are gone. They're nowhere to be found. What, what I don't are know you what saying? to do. What are you saying? Aren't you listening to me? I am, but I don't understand. What don't you understand? Don't get angry, okay? As in, Judy is missing, as in, uh, what happened? As in, I literally cannot find my husband and my baby. I just go upstairs for one minute to get changed, and by the time I go back down, they're gone, disappeared. Oh, I don't know what to do. When did this happen? About 7.30 or so. That's about two hours ago. Yes. I don't know what to do. Have you asked around? We have asked everybody. I've asked the security. Nobody seems to know where they are. What if he went outside to get something or... For two hours? And he won't call me? He left his phone here! Oh, all right. What if they've been kidnapped? No, no, no. Don't say don't that, know okay? What to do. They are not missing. God. Judy is a big boy and your baby is safe with him. So, let's not make any assumption yet. I think we should go to the police. And tell them what? And tell them what happened. Oh, you know how this works. So I should do nothing? Okay. Go oh, ask her. I already did that! Okay, you know what? I will double check why you make some calls before going to the police in the morning. I don't think I can wait till morning to go to the police. I can't. You have to be here. I can't! Before I, he comes back. I can't wait, no! Good evening, ma. Good evening, officer. Please, can we see your boat, please? Nothing in my boat, officer. Please. My husband and my kid are missing. I'm trying to find them. Please. When did that happen? This evening. Before you conclude that they are missing, I would like you to waste it tomorrow. Then you report it to the station first thing in the morning. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Hold it there. Madam, please. Can we see your boot? Officer, you already told me to go now. Why are you stopping me again? Madam, please. There's nothing in my boot, officer. It's okay. Now! Officer, I don't understand why you're stopping me. There's nothing in my boots. I'm in a hurry. I have to go. There's nothing in my boots. <gasps> what? How, oh, officer? Don't know your news. I don't know. You have to believe me, officer. Ah! Oh, no. I don't know how that got there. Please, Get out. Get out. Get out. I swear, I didn't kill her. I don't even know who she is. How did we get here? Rita, what's happening? Why are you looking at me like that? What did you get me into? What, you think I killed her? Well, I don't know what to think. I did not do it, Rita, and you know it. Well, she was found in your trunk. I don't know how she got in my trunk. If you had listened and stayed home, well, she still would have been in my trunk. We would have found her first. Now they did. Oh. Oh. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to be an ex-convict. Rita! Come on, go back. It's your name, Rita. Uh -huh. Someone wants to see you. Rita, get us out of here. Where's the one? Where's the one? No. Oh dear. No touching. What happened? I came as soon as I heard. What's going on? I don't know. I didn't do it. You do what? Oh. How did the body of a dead woman get in the trunk of your car? I don't know. And then why are you here? What are you saying? I don't know how you got there. Judy and not came at me, Sam. This is not connecting. My husband and my child are gone. I was on my way to his father's house when the police stopped me and found a strange dead woman in my boots. Jesus. I was about asking you about him. Did he go out and did he come back or something? I went upstairs to get ready for dinner and by the time I came back down, they were gone. No. I think he went somewhere. The security man didn't see him leave. Nobody saw him. His phone and his car are still parked at home. Okay, now, what are you doing here? What are, what are they charging you for? Into it. I know, but you're here. I need to find my family home. But the police are not going to listen to me because Time I'm in here. Time off. Time off. Officer, uh, please. Mommy, please. Please wait. You need to get us out of here, please. Us. Yeah. Aret is here as well. Mommy, you need to go home and I'm check. Finished. Have, my baby, I'm finished. Mommy, please. If they're not bad, mommy, please. Go file it and listen. Mommy, please, please, you need to get us out of here. Please. So, when are we getting out? I don't know. I don't know. But I know my mom is going to get us out soon. I hope it doesn't take too long. I hope so too.
yeah, um, hello, Amy. Good morning. Yeah, um, I'm fine, thank you. Please, I, I have been trying to reach Aris before and her number is not reachable. Can I please talk to her on your phone? Sorry? She hasn't been home all, all night. Um, well, if you are able to see her before I can reach her, please tell her I, I call. Adogo, what happened? Thank goodness you're back, honey. What is this that I hear? We need to get her out of there. Uh, yes, I, um, I, I know. But first, what happened? Honey, I do not know. But what I know is that our daughter is not a killer. What about the baby? The baby is missing. What? Yes, and Judy too. So please, can you call the commissioner of police right away? I will explain everything soon enough. I don't want her to stay there for another minute. I beg you. Come, 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 come. Rita, Arit. We both have been released on bail. Hey, thank God. Investigations are still ongoing. You are not allowed to leave town. Failure to do so, both of you will be back here. And no amount of calls your father may can bring you out. Excuse me, officer. Inspector. Inspector Amina. Excuse me, Inspector. My husband and my child are missing. I've been trying to get someone here to help, but nobody even wants to listen to me. I heard about that. And? There's nothing you can do. First and foremost, you're the prime suspect in the murder case. So anything you see might be you trying to get us off track. But I'm not. Secondly, the complaints about the missing persons has been barely 24 hours. What exactly are you saying? There's nothing. That my two month old is out there without care and, and, and food and I should just... The baby is with the father. So you don't think they're missing? Madam, have a nice day. Rita, let's go. Oh dear. Are you okay? No, Mom. Rita. Daddy. I'm sorry I couldn't get you out as fast as possible. Harriet. Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon. Harriet, how are you? Still in shock. I know. I can imagine. I'm sorry. I hear it's terrible in there. Huh? Terrible is an understatement. My God. It's all right, girls. Um, let's go so that um, you can clean. Yes, sir. Yeah. Judy, please come back home. Please. 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 Oh, you guys. Yes, I don't know. My baby. Where are you? I 
miss you. Please come back home to mommy. Please. Please. Criminals will want to do anything to get out of this place. I'm not a criminal. Can I help you? Who is she? Did you come here to prove that you do not know her? No. If someone was found dead in the trunk of your car, wouldn't you at least be curious to know who she was? Maybe you know who she is. Maybe you're just claiming not to know. I am not claiming anything. I know she's someone's daughter. And that because of what happened, you people are not even listening to me or trying to help me find my husband and my child. We will do what we can when we can do it. But if she was not found in my trunk, would you have helped me? This is Rita. How can I help you? I want to see her family. Not gonna happen. Is that all? Come in. Good day. Good day. Boss wants to see you. Okay, I'll be right. I'll wait. I still haven't told you why I'm here. Good afternoon, sir. Good day, sir. Please, sir. The security man told me that this is where Maureen or Chet lives. What do you want? Um, I'd like to speak to a family member, sir. My name is Rita Chukodi. You? You killed my wife! No, 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 sir. I, I don't even know her. I didn't even know that I knew her until I saw her in my wedding photograph. This bastard? You're married to this bastard? Sir, sir, you knew my husband? Both of you will be hanged for this. You'll be hanged for what sir, you have done. Sir, please. I came here to get answers, sir. Answers that I know you obviously have. Please, can you please just calm down and tell me who you are and how your wife ended up dead in my trunk? For your correction, my dead wife. Now, leave this sir, place. Sir, sir. Please, you have to help me. You have, to help, you have, you have to help me, sir. Now go. Please, please.
Uh, Madam, where you they go now? Huh? What's the meaning of this nonsense? Now, me suppose they ask you that question, no? You come past in house, you don't even talk, you won't enter inside. I've been here severally. I'm the daughter in law of the owners of this house. You? Yes. Been here severally. To see who? Daughter of the owner. But I'm tell you, let me be the caretaker of this house where you see so. Nobody don't live for this house for a very long time now. What nonsense are you talking about? <sighs> Madame, I was here three days ago, so I don't understand what you're saying. But I beg. I don't tell you. I don't want Wahala. Just carry your Wahala. Oga, please. Madame, where you they go now? Carry your Wahala, they go. I don't want problem. Oga, Oga, please. <laughs> Eh? You, you don't understand. I'm begging you, you have to let me into this house. My husband and my baby are missing. And I only came to tell my in-laws that their child and their granddaughter, grandchild is missing. Please. Please. Um, madam, you see the story still remains the same. I'm very sorry for your husband and your picking where they miss you. But the story never changed. Nobody don't live for this house for a very long time now. I don't feel like I give you now. <sighs> Madam, I beg, I beg, I beg. They just they go, they go, I beg. <sighs> Madam, they go now. Where you there, I beg? Guys, see, I go need to see you. I tell you, I need to see you. Eh, I beg, I beg, I need to see you. All right now. I was not you my explanation. Huh? I called your phone several and it rang. And next thing your phone stopped ringing. I called your friend Ini. Ini said that you did not sleep in the house last night. So where have you been? The least you could have done would have been to call me or not to think I was worried. I've been in cell. So? Yes, cell. So. Oh, here she comes. Oh, guys, oh, I'm dead. What's now? I'm just coming from Judy's parents' house and it's been wiped clean. Oh, How? There's nobody there. Oh, go on. And the caretaker said that there hasn't been anybody there for the past one year. Are you sure? Yes, I'm just coming from there. Alright. Are you listening to me at all? Yes. So why aren't you saying anything? What? She just told you now. Yes, she just told me your problems. And I should drop whatever I'm feeling right now and go searching. Despite not feeling too good myself. What are you not feeling too good about, Arit? The last I checked, you're not the one whose husband and child are missing. I was held in police cell because of a dead woman found in your car. Wait, 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 wait. Dead woman found in what? What's going on here? And you now have phobia for that place. It was horrible. It was horrible for me too, don't, don't you think? No, I don't think so. Because you wanted your parents to leave us there. Oh, come on, Arit. You know why I said that to them? See, Rita, I know you're passing through so many issues right now. I am not feeling too good myself. So just give me a break. I'm not feeling too good about Arit. Please. Um, look, Arit, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you were passing through all of this. But at least, at least you should have called me. We were stripped of everything, including our dignity, as soon as they found that woman. Well, I mean, personally, I don't think in either of these things they want to see you do. I know. Okay? But this is not the right time to start recounting our day's events. I'm sorry you had to sleep in cell for something you knew nothing about. But please, can you stop whining and help me look for Chuli and Kem, please? I know that that woman found in my boot definitely had something to do with them. Why did you say so? Because I saw her in my wedding photograph. That's her. Right there. That's one. Yes. Why is she doing I have no idea. Okay, look, I'm, 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 I'm really confused here. I don't know what's happening. Can someone at least explain what's happening to me? And what have we been saying since? You've been talking to yourselves and all I've been doing is filling in the gap. That's what's happening. I'm confused. Sorry for everything, you know what? Let me just go and check. Let's see what we can do. Okay, are we here? That's the house. Over there. Okay. And that's the husband. I think he's going out. 
and who is she? Probably the sister. Okay. Let's go talk to her first and see what we can get from her. Okay. It's you again. Hi. My brother isn't here. We're not here to see your brother. Please leave. A two months old baby is missing. And my friend here is about to go to prison for a mother she didn't commit. So grow some conscience and help us out. Please. He took down all her photographs. Maureen's, I mean. Why? He wouldn't say. But. But what? I knew what she did. So did everyone. What did she do? She was having an affair. Was that why he killed her? I mean your brother. Oh God, no. Oche wouldn't hurt anyone. He loved his wife too much. So who did? Who killed her and stopped her dead body in my trunk? I don't know. What do you know? Nothing really. What do you want? Here. I signed your sister-in-law. Who else do you recognize in that picture? When I showed your brother that picture, he seemed to... I cry. think you both should leave. Please. Why? I have said enough. You seem to be holding back something. What is it? Please leave. My brother will be back any moment from now. No, we are not leaving until you tell us what or whom you recognize in that picture. Your husband. Huh? Judy? I don't know his name, but he's the one Maureen was cheating with. Now, please leave. No, no. Say that again. Look, you've asked for my help and I've given it. Don't get me into trouble, please. She's lying. Judy would never cheat on me. She's lying. Retta, just calm down, okay? She's lying. You're fine. You're fine. Hello, Mom. Is there a problem? Okay. All right. We have to go to my mother's house. Okay, it's okay. I'm going with you. What's going on? Sit down. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Last month, after assessing you before, almost one year, I personally convinced the board to hand him over the purchase and stock account. But just a couple of hours ago, I got a call from the CFO that that account has been wiped clean with 50 million naira vanished what untraceable and yet no one seems to have an explanation um, do you think Chudi did it well he is personally in charge of that account now what beats my imagination is how the money managed to disappear with the supporting signature of the CFO. That I want to know. Rita, do you have any idea that he was going to take money from your father's company? Arut. Um. Make sure she's okay. I will. I told you that is not the best idea telling her. Rita! Rita! Rita!
door. Promised me forever. I loved him. I loved him very much. But now he's gone. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't talk like that, okay? We don't know what happened. I do. Oh, my goodness. Everything that happened was premeditated. It was all planned. Judy planned to leave me. I took my baby. It's okay. He took my baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He took my baby. It's okay. Make sure you can't abandon yourself about me. See, I beg, I beg, I beg. See, I don't be small picking where you would play games with me. You shouldn't be game for the matter now. Guy, why are people going to do like say, I, 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 I they don't know me on Come, 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 guy. Now, business you do. You know, collect money. Yes, I know that one. But I seen you tell me, say, picking no go. Lost inside this one. Picking? Yes, now. You see that woman when I tell you, say, they ask after your people. Uh, she tell me, say, her husband and her picking the miss. Guy. Just continue the dead end with you, don't the dead end now. Nah. Why am I not doing inside the matter now? Nah? Wahala? Yes, now. Nah. Why you tell me this one a pure deal now? Guy. You, you, you the goon, eh? You the mad, sir! You... I did talk to you, the leaf! Honey, you're back. Still not picking? No. <laughs> Same thing here, she's not picking mine too. I told you. I should have just come there. It's alright. Um, let's give her a little time to process all that's been happening. Hmm? <sighs> have you discovered anything yet? No. I should have digged deep when she brought him on. Mm. We trusted him because we thought they were in love. Yeah. Now we're not only chasing a thief, but a kidnapper. And our daughter's heart is broken. Now, do you think she'll be okay? I doubt. She's never going to be the same. It's okay. Hmm? It's alright. Your mom's be calling like forever. You should talk to her. I won't kill myself. I won't. I have a two month old baby out there in the arms of strangers. So I won't kill myself. How did I not see it? How did I miss the signs? Maybe there were no signs. 
you were in love and it looked like he was too. So stop bothering yourself. What do we do now? Where do we go from here? I don't know. I have no idea. But I'll be fine. I'll leave. It's okay for my baby. I'll leave. So what do I get for you tomorrow? Mm, just a change of clothes will be fine. You sure that's all? Yeah, that's all. Take care of yourself. I will. Just be good. so much not to do this. Do what? Will you marry me? Uh, but, Trudy, we've only known each other for three months. Does it matter? Well... Listen to me. The very first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you were the one. Besides, we have all our lives to know more about each other. So, what do you say? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I'll marry you. Oh, God bless <laughs> you so much. Wow. <laughs> So I brought you some clothes. Oh, thank you. Loretta gave me this to wear. It was good on you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let's go. Hi, Larry. Hey, how are you? Uh, okay. Where are you going to? The search continues. Alright, what are you doing? Talking with you. Well, you know exactly what I'm saying. You can't continue encouraging her to don Bruce and Jet Li. She doesn't really encourage me the authorities. Do you want to marry me? Stupid question is that. Answer my question. Do you want to marry me? What does that do with anything? Everything. This is Arit, the woman you want to marry. So if anything should happen to you or our baby, yes, I will go gently and boozily, including Commando. And I am very sure that you know that this man has been playing all this while. Which means by now he steps ahead in his plan. Yes, I know. But he doesn't know we know. Which put us insane. The inspector. Officer, cough her. Eh? What? Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> no, officer, please! No! Please, officer. Get out of my She didn't do it. Officer, can't you do can't it. you can't arrest me, officer, please! I need to find my baby. Please! Officer, look, officer no, you you can't! The things that you said she did. Move it. You can't she arrest me. anyone. Please! I didn't do it! Move it! Please find my, my child, please! Please find my baby. Harry, please find the cat, please. <laughs> please. I don't know her. I don't. You still do not know her? You left this picture when you went to the victim's house to do only God knows what. I know how this may seem, but you must believe me. I don't know that woman. I don't. <gasps> Try again. I said try again. I don't know her. Just like I did not know my husband was having an affair. I don't know her. Now that you have brought that up, let's talk about it. 
You went to the victim's house. Or better still, you caught her in bed with your husband and then you killed no. her. No! You were caught right in the act of trying to dispose of her dead body. No! No! Your husband, seeing what you have done, fled the scene with your child because no. he did not want your child to no. go and see what no. the mother had done. That never happened. You have to believe me. Please. I don't know that woman. I don't know who she is. Listen. Please. You are not leaving this place Please. until you tell us what happened to that woman. I don't know what happened. I'll be back. I don't know what happened. You have to believe me. I don't know what happened. You have to believe me. Please. You must believe me. Please. Please. You must believe me. Listen to I have to come to hear you say that there is nothing you can do to get my daughter out of that place. You know, if I could, I would. But this is way over me. Oh, come on, Vincent. You were the commissioner of police. But I am answerable uh, to the people. I just can't do anything I want. Oh, really? You seem to have forgotten that I played a major part to get you to this office. You don't need to be personal, my friend. Your daughter has a motive. Motive? Yes. Motive? What motive? Her husband was cheating with the dead woman. Oh, so everyone assumed that she's playing the role of the jealous housewife who we killed the other woman, right? Well, they're all wrong. The so-called husband was equally cheating on my daughter. And as it stands, he is missing with her baby. But no one wants to listen. Gets them to listen. Make them believe, isn't She is also a victim in all this. You have known Rita since she was a child. You know she didn't do it. I am not the law. If she is truly innocent, then let the law prove it. The law that have refused me to see my daughter? I am sorry. If anything should happen to my daughter, if your people lay their finger on my daughter, I will sue you and I will sue your department. Who is there? Her there. Cash. That place is so horrible. Can't even wish my enemy to be there. Look, Harry. No one is listening to her own side of the story. Okay. She needs our help. I've heard that before. But how? Tony, yes, please come. Ask you this question just once. 
Did you see Judy leave this house the very day that we got myself? Did you? I will be too until later and I tell it. I didn't see him leaving the compound. I showed it to you. I didn't see them leaving the compound. I did. But you were in the compound that day. So how come did you get into them? How come? Huh? Okay. Since you don't want to talk, by the time I go SARS for you, I will explain to you the meaning of what's in life in jail. You will talk. Oh, I do more. Sorry, oh, I'm actually new here. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's nothing. I do more is just two streets behind. Um, can you take me? Um, take you. Yes. Um. Um. I'll pay you, boy. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'll, 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 I'll pay. I'll, I'll pay you. You don't. You, you don't have to do that. Don't worry. I'll, I'll pay you good. Hmm? I could just. <laughs> I could walk you there. Sure. <laughs> sure. Very sure. Anything for the lady. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. So you you think you're new here? Yeah. I, I already took her. I already took her to that place, and I go back immediately. Hmm? I did. I, Honestly, that's the truth. So, what did you lie about it? I wasn't supposed to leave my boss. So, why did you? I'm, I'm really sorry, ma'am. You just made us to. Whatever. Just go. Yes. Yes. Uh, wait. What time did this happen? It was around 7 p.m. I just have to stay in jail. I'm really sorry. Get out of here! Rita says she came downstairs around 7 30. So we're making our next stop with 30 minutes. Hey, hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Are you Mr. Obina, the caretaker of this property? Uh, yes, I am. I am Detective John and my partner. It is about this war. Okay. Can we come in? Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Ah. Okay. okay, hope no problem, go. Oh, uh, no, no problem. Uh, we are looking for the occupants. Um, the people that live here just uh, moved up on this place. Okay, nobody don't live for this house over a very long time now. I did tell you. Mm, yes. Sure. Yeah, now let me be the caretaker of this house. Mr. Madu, we look at children. Um, we have every information from different sources. There were people living in this house a few days ago. If you don't want to go to prison for aiding and abetting, I suggest you start talking. Aiding and abetting, waiting now. Kidnapping ah. and murder. The people that were living here will be held for kidnapping and murder. And if you don't want to take their place, then you better start talking. Madam, no, 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 see, no be me. I, I swear to God, no be me. Now, my friend, I arrange all this thing, no be me. There's no talk. Call the squad. Uh, what squad now? I did no, no, start no. talking. When they come, you will know. I think it's three years in jail. Uh, ten years. Oh, oh it's ten see, years see, now. I swear to God, I go like you now. I go they look in our face, they like you. Don't talk. Uh, A name and an address. See, now, now my guy and uh, to take that thing off your mouth. Mm -hmm. And if you scream, I'm very sure you know what happens when I pull the trigger in your mouth. Do you understand? Okay. I'm going to ask you one question. All I need to know is an address. Okay? Where is Chukori Chikoziri? Ah. 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 Ah.
You will do it. Who are you people that? Baby, <laughs> that was a great idea. Oh well. Come to think of it, I didn't know you still have that in you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Smaller the post side of me fool you. I'm still very, very street. Okay. I can see that you don't know. Funny how the guy fell for a toy gun. I mean, it looks toy. You can enough. imagine look at the guy just shivering. Oh god. <laughs> now, let's go, we have a lot of things to do, okay? Yeah. Let's say I did your homework, which you and your team should have done, rather than lock up an innocent woman. First, she is not locked up. She just hasn't been charged. Secondly, get the hell out of my office if I get you arrested. Oh, get me arrested for telling you to do the right thing? I did the right thing. Which is to get a murderer off the streets. What proof do you have? Obviously none. You think this is a joke? How can a woman joke about her missing husband and a baby? You have one, don't you? How would you feel if she goes missing one day? Uh-huh. That's the fear. And this is exactly what my friend is trying to do. Find her baby. There is nothing I can do. There is something you can do, Inspector. Find the husband. The real criminal. Keeping her in our custody will probably bring him out from hiding. Mm -mm. He will never show up. You know what? She is where he wants her to be. Ask the officer who insisted on searching the boat of her car. Ask him where he got the information that made him to insist, even when his colleagues ask us to go. Are you by chance trying to say the police is with him in this? Mm -mm. I'm saying he's using the police to get away. I know where he is. He is the missing chunk of the puzzle. I have to talk to my boss. No, no, there is no time. Any delay will make us to lose him. I can't just pay. Oh, don't you want justice? Justice for the woman that was killed? Justice for the innocent people who are sentenced for a crime they knew nothing about? I want justice. I want to find her baby. So, grow some courage and do your job. I'm sorry. I just want to change you. Yes. Oh. 
Okay. Now. Oh. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I put call my house. They put me for serious tax corner. I don't know when I can tell them, say, see where your house they finish this guy. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! hey. What? Boss, he got one particular one, and I just if I can't go inside my throat, bros, I go tell you the truth. Ah, because I say now only you eh, don't draw me close. And I must tell you, boss, that he made me come tell you, say, hey, boss, you need to relocate. Wait, wait. Relocate? Me? Expecting anybody? No, no. his wife for a murder he committed. Murder? Uh, please, who killed you? This is no game. And he's here to help me get out whatever information we need. In any means. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, but but please, please, who died? Really? The same day you killed your lover. And then you put her body in the trunk of your wife's car to frame her. Jesus. This was after you deceived Rita into marrying you because you wanted to steal her father's money. Uh, and of course, you still did steal her father's money. No, 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 please. Is there part of this puzzle you do not understand? I, 
I, I, I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. It's something strange to me. It sounds strange. Um, those are your fake parents, the ones you hire to pretend to be the real ones, we have them in our custody. See, 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 see. The, the, the only truth in everything you just said is just the fact that Emeka and Abigail are not my true parents. Yes, but what would I have done? When Rachel wouldn't let me be, she would not let me be. She kept pressing, pressing for marriage. And so you killed a woman and then kidnap your own child just to tell the world that? God forbid, not me. I didn't do that. Not me. Okay. where the father of the girl has the power to end your life and end everything that concerns you now. How? Look, I know, I know I'm not a perfect guy, but I didn't kill Maureen. I didn't kill Maureen. Maureen was the only person who gave me happiness. I didn't kill her. <laughs> Did you ask God, <laughs> Jay? What was there that night? Oche didn't tell you. Morning was not there. It was only him. So, doesn't that tell you something? So you mean you did not see her before you left? I did not see Maureen. And if I did not see Maureen, how would I have killed Maureen? How? How? Listen to me. I know I'm not a perfect guy, but I did not do anything wrong. I didn't. So why did you run when you saw me? I didn't see you. It was Arit I saw. The first thought of seeing her was to flee because I knew to her that Reta was going to be somewhere around her. Look, I just didn't want to go back to Reta. And besides, I don't know you. I've never seen you before. So, who stole from your father? Not me. Not me. For God's sake, 50 million naira is a huge money. Where on God's sake would I hide that kind of money? Where? I, 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 I just think, I, I, I just believe someone, I mean, when the news got around that I was missing, someone just took advantage of that to have access. You're lying. Oh. Which is? I'm more interested. 
You will go to prison. I didn't know you cared. I don't. I'm just wondering how stupid you would be to follow another woman's husband to prison. Did I say anything funny? The charges against you are real and serious. I didn't do anything. Helping a man kidnap a child is as bad as you doing the crime yourself. Well, it isn't kidnapping if the child is his own. <laughs> then what would you say to unlawful possession of arms and narcotics? Just give him up. Testify against him and all this would stop. Stop repeating yourself, Inspector. As much as I want to go to prison for the things you've mentioned, what kind of a wife will I be if I testify against my husband? Excuse me? You heard me right. Judy was and is still my husband. I will never help you to convict him. Never. Rita, how are you? I don't know. It's okay. Did you find my child? First and foremost, I would like to apologize for locking you up in there. Apologizing right now would be you handing me my child. Chukudi is not helping us. He's not giving us anything to charge him with. What's that supposed to mean? He claims he's innocent. So, is he saying I did it? No. He said Mr. Oche was there that night. What? Although both of them still claim they didn't do it. So, what about my child? He would not disclose the location of the child. He fears if you have the child, he will not see him again. That bastard. I'm sorry, but we're doing everything possible we can to get your child. When? How? He wants to see you. I don't want to see him. He says he will only disclose the location of your child if you come see him. I, I didn't do all the things they said I did. They are all lies. Baby, you just have to believe me. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry. Where is my child? The only reason I'm here is because of my child. You have to see me. In exchange for one Kim's location. Rita, you're not listening to me. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> Did that sorry cost you anything? No, you didn't. But every single thing you have done has almost cost me my sanity. And if I do not find my child, the only real and truthful thing in my life right now, I just might lose that sanity. So please stop wasting my time and tell me what I want to know. My child too. No, because you lost that privilege the moment you tried to dupe his mother. I thought, I thought it was enough. I thought we were happy. We were. Then why did you leave me? Baby, listen. No, 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 don't answer that. I know. You left because you had another wife to go to. No, listen to me. She didn't mean anything to me. She, she, she didn't mean anything to me. She made me to leave you. She, 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 she was threatening to harm us. So that you know me too well. I love you. I'm, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. You're my numero uno number one, baby. See, sweetheart, do me a favor. Help me get out of this place. And I'll prove to you that I love you so much. I'll prove to you that I'm sorry. Your dad can do it. You just help me get out of this place. You're so disgusting. What? Look at you. Begging like the real low life that you really are. Right at me? Don't even dare call my name. You think getting me here you'll be able to sweet talk me to get you out of here? Sorry to disappoint you, dear husband. You cannot sweet talk yourself out of this one. Yes, you cannot get me to do anything for you again. It's done. L listen to me, sweetheart. I didn't, I, I didn't do this thing. 
Stop I lying! I didn't! You did it and you know it! Why don't you just be a man for once and take responsibilities for your actions? Oh, you think I'm a fool? To want a killer? What? A thief? A low life for one minor life? Enough! Shut up, right up. Shut up! Yes! You deserve everything that happened to you. You deserve it. Oh! Spoiled brat! Heir to a billion naira empire, yet clueless! Let me tell you the truth. You were supposed to go down for Maureen's death. I, I, I just don't know why that whore, that whore, even in death couldn't do what I wanted. So you did it. You killed a person, someone's sister and wife, just to get to me, the mother of your child? Hey, hey, hey. That was a mistake. A great mistake. Monumental mistake. Having a child with you. Wait, 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 girl. You think you're good enough for any man to leave behind? Oh, no. You are a ticket for a better life. Okay? How else could we milk you but to play the loving husband? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You liked it, baby! How else? Wake up and smell the coffee. Listen to me. Eno is my wife. I stole your father's 50 million naira. 50 million! I did everything they said I did. So what? So what? So what? the devil himself. I'm going to rot in hell. Gladly. But you will never set your eyes on your child. My child. Never. Unless you get me out of this place. And you will be going nowhere. Why the look of your face? You've confessed to everything which is what you absolutely want. But the funny thing is, all along you were playing innocent. I knew you were guilty. A wolf can never lose a saint. <laughs> That's why you can say nothing at <laughs> You, you must be jail. Come on, baby. Come on, give me Staying in here is not going to bring my child back, so I might as well just go out. It's okay. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god! My baby! My baby! Oh. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, she's oh, fine. fine. She's fine. Oh. Oh, 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 don't cry. This is Judy's sister. You have to listen to her, my child. She brought the baby back. I am sorry for what my brother has done to you. When he brought and came to me, he told me the mom didn't want her. That's a lie. Of course I know that now. When I heard what he did to you and that poor woman, I was heartbroken. Because I know I have lost my brother. He's not like this. There is nothing greater than a mother losing a child. That is why I have to bring the innocent child back to the mother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, my baby. Thank you so, so much.